What is this small silver thing found in a box of things belonging to my great-grandparents? It's made of silver and maybe 1.5 inches long. I can't see any way to attach it to a necklace or to open it. But there's a slit for a small piece of paper to come out. I thought it might be for holding a prayer. But I can't see any writing or religious symbolism on the item. It is from southern England and probably dates to before 1970. Does anyone know what it is? It's a Georgian silver tape measure, dating circa 1820. Its silk tape usually unwinds to a length of 15 inches or 37 centimeters. By holding onto the side of the tape measure and pulling gently on the tape extremity, it can be wound back by turning the top cover clockwise. What is this metal spring attached to a wooden board? This photo was sent to me by a friend of a friend who saw this object somewhere in Italy. He's since lost any further details including size reference. I've used Google Lens, but it suggests a handheld loom or a paper binder. And it's neither. Thanks for any help. It's a knife holder spring that you'd keep in a drawer instead of a knife block on the countertop. The spring is removable, and the wooden base can be used as a chopping board. What is this thing? It has the text Fila USA on one side and Enterprise Manufacturing Company on the other side. Made of cast iron and is about 9 inches long and is black. There also seems to be a 4 on the top marking a length. Any ideas? It's an early 20th century cast iron flagpole wall bracket. Circa 1914. It holds the flag at a 20 degree angle, it is over 2 pounds of super strong cast iron, super heavy duty that holds a heavy flag or banner in heavy winds. What is this long metal device that appears to be 2 feet long, that is touching the lady's nose and hovering over the dog? It is a pick from the 1950s and was found on eBay. No information was given on the site. Any ideas? It's an osmoscope. It measured the intensity of odors and was created around 1938. The process works by dilution of the odor by air. Once the odor becomes increasingly stronger due to the sliding jacket, the two probes at the end of the osmoscope would be inserted into the nose of a human subject. A small amount of gas would be rapidly passed directly into the olfactory regions, allowing the subject to experience and assess the odor for their experimenter. This was used in Pierce Hall at Harvard University up until the 1970s. What is this extendable metal rod with a cylinder and a slit on its end? We found it in a flea market in Brussels. The part with the cylinder can be pulled out, but cannot be removed from the handle. We could not unscrew the bottom part of the cylinder either. Neither the seller nor us have the slightest idea what it may be. It looks old at least 50 to 100 years old. It's not a pipe as it has no airway through it. What is it? It's the handle to a pair of opera glasses, dating to circa 1900, also known as theater binoculars, or Galilean binoculars, usually used at performance events, whose name is derived from traditional use of binoculars at opera performances. What is this wall hanging that has a mirror and brush and a little box attached? My mom found this in her basement and is very curious to know what it's called, what culture it's from, its purpose, its history, etc. It seems to be made out of tin or copper. We have tried googling and asked a few professors with no luck. What is this thing? It's a Victorian hall mirror circa 1900s. It hangs two clothes brushes on each side, likely part of a hall stand. What is this thing found in a 1940s home basement built under the foundation? The metal is painted black, and I'm assuming it's hollow. I could not read the gauge, and metal piping runs alongside of it. Aprox 4 feet high by 5 feet wide. The general contractor and homeowner have no clue what this is. I'm the demo contractor and have never seen something like this. The house is heated via oil. So maybe it's a decommissioned oil tank. Has an existing fuel burning boiler in the basement. The home is located on a farm in Virginia. I have searched old home fuel tank, septic tank, oil burning furnace, etc. Can't find anything that looks like it. What is it? Someone suggests it's a gas tank possibly made from a World War II bomb casing. But as somebody who worked at a water distribution, it is an old water pressure tank. We use the same ones in our old pump stations. Oil storage tanks are not under pressure. 
and usually have one large filler tube and one very narrow supply line to the furnace. What is this metal Indian head on the side of my barn? No clue how old the structure is. I search for metal Indian heads barn adornment and metal barn adornment with no luck. Found in Appalachia US. What is it? It's an old dinner bell. My grandparents used to have the same one. This one is missing the bell part that would mount directly below the Native American's bust. On that structure, it is supposed to announce someone's arrival. What is this metal cage anchored to the rocks in the intertidal zone on California's central coast? The cage measures roughly 4 by 3 by 3 inches. Any ideas? This must be at a muscle watch location. It's some sort of environmental monitoring for the detection and evaluation of toxic substances. It measured trace metals and legacy organic contaminants in the tissue of transplanted mussels at more than 20 stations along the California coastline. Samples have been collected and analyzed annually. What is this white solid substance washed ashore on a northern German beach? It is scratchable and can easily be broken. Smells like some kind of grease. Looks to be wax that was molten and poured in water. I found multiple chunks in a few meters along the shore. What is this thing? Those are paraffin wax from ships ending up on German beaches. Paraffin is therefore transported in large quantities in chemical tankers and ends up in the relevant ports. The tanks of the ships have to be cleaned if another chemical product is to be transported. Up to now, the washing water loaded with paraffin wax has been pumped out into the open sea. Here's a pro tip. Don't pick up unidentified objects that you find in the ocean with your bare hands, especially on German beaches. Sometimes white phosphorus which looks a bit like amber gets washed ashore. Putting it in your pockets can lead to serious burn injuries. After World War II the ammunition stocks of the armed forces were dumped in the sea. As far as I know mainly in the Baltic Sea. Over time the bombs rust and the phosphorus is released and washes up at the beach. What is this heavy metal cylindrical object found in a box of World War I stuff? It has a loose cone on top and a smaller cylinder protruding from the bottom with small holes drilled into it. It's likely from the 40s, and there are no identifying marks that I can find. The cylinder protruding from the bottom looks kinda like a muzzle brake. I work for a museum that only professionalized in the last few years. Thus my position was created. I've been attempting to find and deal with any hazardous objects in our collection. Grenades and ammunition are easy to ID. But I had no idea what this thing was. Unfortunately, record keeping was not always meticulous in the past. So I have no idea of the history or safety of these objects. Any ideas? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.